Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you the top 5 programming languages that I would recommend for you to learn going into the end of 2021 and coming into the year 2022. I'm basing my recommendations on popularity, demand, average salary, what the language is commonly used for, and also my personal experience. Some of my recommendations, especially for the first two in my list, are primarily based on what these languages can provide for you and provided for me so that you can learn other languages more easily and also become a better developer. Also note that there is no silver bullet or ultimate programming language. They all serve different use cases and are best in different scenarios. Keep that in mind before choosing one. I hope you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing for more content like this. For number five, I'm recommending C++. According to Stack Overflow this year, C++ is only number 10 in its list of most popular technologies. When it comes to demand, according to Indeed.com, there are around 21,000 jobs available for C++ developers in the United States and the average salary is $117,000 a year. This language is slightly more difficult to learn, especially for beginners, because of its syntax and because it's a lower level language in comparison to a lot of the other languages out there. This means that it requires you to communicate with more of the bare metal components of the computer and also handle memory management yourself, which isn't true for the rest of the languages in this list. This reality though makes C++ really performant and fast. Because of this, applications that need high performance tend to use C++. These include operating systems like Mac OS and Windows, games like Xbox and PlayStation games, web browsers like Chrome, Safari, and Firefox, and databases like MySQL and MongoDB. C++ was the first language I learned and it's often included in university curriculums. One of the benefits of knowing this language is that it will help you better understand how programming languages work in general and how they are used to communicate with your computer. It's also really good at teaching you object-oriented programming, which is a really good thing to know when it comes to learning other programming languages. And that takes us to language number four in our list, Java. According to Stack Overflow's survey, Java is number five in the list of most popular technologies. It is widely used and in really high demand, with over 70,000 jobs available in Indeed.com and an average salary of $100,000 a year. One of the coolest things about Java is that it can run virtually anywhere. It also has an easier syntax to learn than C++, handles memory management for you, and is also really good at providing a strong foundation for object-oriented programming, which is probably one of the reasons a lot of universities use Java as its introductory programming language. Java is used for Android mobile app development, backend web development with the Spring Framework, and especially for enterprise applications. Java was the second language I learned and I used it for a lot of my college courses and also Android app development when I entered with Zillow. It really does provide a strong foundation for you as a software developer. All right, that leads us to number three in my list, SQL or SQL. SQL is listed as number four in Stack Overflow's list of most popular technologies and with good reason. Databases, databases, databases. SQL is the primary language you use when communicating with relational databases. Every application you will build can't really do much without a database layer facilitating the storage and retrieval of data. In order to do that, you need SQL. You might be thinking, hey, I can use NoSQL or other database technologies. But the benefits of using SQL and relational databases is that they can really help you model real world problems in a logical way. They have been the standard for a long time and help power a large amount of the applications we use today. Learning SQL and relational databases will help you think about the data in your applications, how it relates to each other, and help you find solutions to the problems you're trying to solve. On top of that, once you know SQL, learning other types of databases out there won't be that hard. I use SQL and relational databases every single day for the web applications I build. All right, so with that, Let's move on to number two, Python. Python is an awesome language. It's currently the third most popular language in the world according to Stack Overflow. It is also one of the languages in highest demand with around 70,000 job listings and an average salary of $108,000 a year. Python's popularity is largely due to its simplicity and versatility. It's often recommended as the best language for beginners to learn because it's so easy to understand and to get started with. Sometimes it doesn't even look like code and more like English. Python has a lot of use cases. 
It is the go-to language for data science and analytics, as well as machine learning and artificial intelligence. Python is also often used for backend web development alongside frameworks like Django and Flask. It powers the backend of big companies like Instagram, National Geographic, Spotify, Netflix, Pinterest, and even YouTube. Netflix and Spotify, for example, use Python to make use of machine learning and be able to recommend to you what you should watch or listen to next. It's pretty awesome. I personally learned Python in college and had to use it for the data science and artificial intelligence courses I took. I also learned Django to work on a backend web application for my capstone, which really helped me get started as a backend web developer. I would highly recommend for you to learn Python, especially if you're just starting out. That leads us to my number one recommendation, JavaScript. JavaScript is my favorite programming language. It's been number one in Stack Overflow's list of most popular technologies for the last nine consecutive years. According to Indeed, there are around 80,000 job listings for JavaScript developers, and they make around $111,000 a year. JavaScript has been on the rise for a while now and isn't going away anytime soon. Its popularity is largely due to the fact that it powers the web. JavaScript, alongside HTML and CSS, which aren't really programming languages by the way, are responsible for everything you see and interact with in the websites you visit. Other than Python, I would highly recommend beginners who want to learn how to code to learn JavaScript as it's easy to get started with, it's easy to understand, and can help you see results quickly as the browsers you already use, like Chrome and Firefox, already support the language. It doesn't stop there though. React, Vue, and AngularJS are popular frameworks in use in the industry to build interactive front-end web applications. With the introduction of Node.js, JavaScript is also now used to build highly performant backend web applications as well. Examples of companies that do this include PayPal, Trello, LinkedIn, and Uber. Uber, for example, uses Node.js in their backend to build a performance system that matches drivers with people looking for rides. By learning JavaScript, you are starting on your path to becoming a full stack web developer and can use the same language throughout the whole stack. That is one of the primary reasons that I love using JavaScript. You can even build cross-platform mobile apps for iOS and Android with frameworks like React Native. If you want to go beyond JavaScript, I would also recommend learning TypeScript, which introduces type safety, better tooling, and object-oriented programming, which I think is awesome. I was first introduced to JavaScript in high school, but I solidified my learning through Udemy courses that I took while I was in college. I now use React.js for my front ends and Node.js for my back ends alongside TypeScript for all the web applications that I build. I promise if you give it a chance, you'll come to love it as much as I do. All right, so that's it for my list of five programming languages I would recommend for you to learn going into the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022. C++, Java, SQL, Python, and JavaScript. Leave a comment down below to let me know who your thoughts are and drop a like if you enjoyed the video.